What was your first introduction to the disability rights movement? Charlie Carr, Boston, well, Massachusetts. First of all, speaking with Ed on the phone, I would speak with Ed uh, once a month for a period of six or eight months. He'd give me, he'd say, you know, because I had trouble getting to a phone. Living in an institution, it's hard to get to a phone. And, but I would speak with him, and I'd come away from 20 minutes or half an hour and said, okay, here's what's going on. Tell me, you know, does this sound right to you? And he'd, he'd, he'd give me advice, and we'd talk. And um, uh, so I would take that, and I would use it. But I didn't really have an appreciation for this broader movement at that point. I was really focused on getting out of living in this institution. It wasn't until we were, we had gotten out of Middlesex and were living in the community where I had free access to writing and telephone and, and other things that I began to realize that there's this movement going on. And then trips to Washington where I got to meet other advocates when we were starting the laws that uh, created Title VII, which was the funding arm for independent living centers. And I remember in 1978 going to Arlington, Virginia to a conference and being blown away by this ballroom filled with people who have all kinds of disabilities from all over the country. And that's where I met people like um, Max Starkloff and uh, Ed Roberts and Ray Zanella and uh, Lex Frieden and just all the leaders of the independent living movement. And I remember flying back down there and back with Fred Fay, who was teaching me how to fly in an airplane. So I think probably in 1976, 77, 78, when I moved out and got to know people in the broader community, did I come to realize that there was actually a movement. And it wasn't later that I realized there was a distinction between the disability rights movement and the independent living movement. I always thought it was the independent living movement only, but eventually I came to realize, no, the disability rights movement came first.